Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part seven in Let's Play The Sims for Nancy Drew. Today is Nancy's day off of work, and it looks like she has slept in because she just got up. It is uh, 1043, so she slept in quite a bit. Let's see. It is a nice, cool, and rainy day. It looks like Nancy is going to get some breakfast. I think Carson is heading off to work. Yep, there goes Carson off to work. Um... Nancy, do we really want to be having peanut butter cookies for breakfast? <laughs> yeah, Carson does have to work today, um, but Nancy will be hanging out at home. What I think Nancy is going to be doing is getting ready for a little event that she wants to throw with her friends. So I added a few fun things to the backyard. I added um, just this outdoor table for eating. I added a fun little bonfire. And I did finally add the gazebo that I was talking about adding um, with the pr pretty little... Um, fairy lights hanging from it. So I love this cute little gazebo. I think it's adorable. Uh, you guys have to let me know what you think. Would you like a gazebo like this in your yard? It's not raised up or anything because the house isn't raised and you can't have differing levels of foundation. Um, but I still think it's really cute. Uh, so that'll be a fun place to hang out as well. So I think what Nancy is going to do is she's going to invite uh, as many friends over as she can for just a fun yard party. Hopefully the weather is nice. Let's take a look at our calendar here. What is this? Rebay today. Hmm, interesting. Spring day is tomorrow, so that'll be a fun day too, especially since Nancy has it off. She can um, have another big shindig maybe for spring day. But let's see here. I was really confused by the music for a second. I was like, is that my phone ringing? Okay, anyway, we could add an event for today. The weather is kind of, it's light, it's cool, but it's not too bad. You know, I don't think it's, um, there's a chance of rain, but hopefully it's not awful in the afternoon. And even if it is, they can come hang out inside as well. But I would love to add an event tonight. So let's plan an event. Dance party, house party, maybe we'll just make it like a house party or a weenie roast. Get together with your campy buddies and enjoy a night of eating and conversation by the fire. So we could um, make sure that they hang out by the fire. That would be kind of cool. Um, do some grilling, make some food. That could be kind of fun. Or it's either that or a house party, I think. Hmm. What, what do we do at a house party? Make your neighbors jealous with their catered spread and awesome drinks. See, we don't really have a mixology thing on the lot. We don't really have a bar or anything. I'm thinking we do a weenie roast. We could make it a gold event a goal event. Um, yeah, might as well try. Okay, so we're gonna do a weenie roast. Oh wait, I want Nancy to um, add a couple people to her club first because we have this one spot and we decided we were going to add um, Chet and I'm just seeing who all is available. We were gonna add Chet Morton and we were going to add um, Helen Corning. I was blanking on her name randomly for a second. Okay, so there's Helen. We could add Helen in right away. Where is Chet? Chet, 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 Chet. Where are you, Chet? Okay, well, we can add Helen. And then we just need a few more club points to be able to get us up to this point. Maybe if um, somebody isn't working today, Nancy can hang out with them and get some of her club points up. Um, let's add Helen for now, and then we'll get Chet in there. I love how Helen turned out. I think she's so pretty. Oh, Togo wants to play. Poor Togo. Okay, so now let's um, add an event, now that we know a few more people. We'll just have to make sure that we can get all the people that Nancy doesn't necessarily know to come as well. Um, like Iola and Chet Morton, Buck Rodman, Bert Edelton. We'll want a big, big party. Okay, Nancy. So Nancy is going to host it. And obviously Hannah and Carson will come. And then we will have Helen come. Oh, we can have Dave Evans come. Dave is uh, Bess's love interest. Um, Maeve is his sister. George, we obviously want to come. Joe and Frank need to come. Bess needs to come. Ned needs to come. Um... And that looks like all the people that Nancy knows right now. But what we'll do is we'll have a, we'll start a club gathering. And then we'll have um, Nancy maybe go around town today and meet some of the people that she hasn't met before. Um, oh, Hannah can be the grill master um, because Hannah's really good at cooking. So Hannah will be the grill master. That'll be her job. She would totally be down for that. 
Okay, and we'll do it at the Drew household. Perfect. At what time should we start tonight? Maybe we'll have people start coming over around five. That gives Nancy a little bit of time to prepare. Perfect. So there will be a fun little weenie roast at the Drew household tonight. I love it. I think that's a great idea. I think ah. Nancy is going to Ooh. need some warmer <laughs> so outfits. Papa. Maybe just an outfit with like a sweatshirt. So she can uh, hang out by the fire and be really comfortable. Nancy, cookies for breakfast. I guess it's not really breakfast for her. It's more of like a brunch. But still, peanut butter cookies for brunch isn't something I would recommend either. Okay, Nancy, clean up that dish. And then let's have Nancy go take a shower. And then she's going to go out on the town and meet a couple people that she hasn't met before. Hannah, what are you doing? Hannah is resting up. Hannah had a busy night last night um, when I came to the house. I just had Hannah do a few chores around the house, including cleaning cleaning Togo and is he still clean he looks like he might be dirty again but maybe that's just his coloring maybe he's not actually dirty okay Nancy you go ahead and uh, take a shower I think I'll have Hannah get up um, and she can unload and put the laundry away Hannah did a little bit of laundry last night let's see her laundry machine not laundry machine her laundry basket is getting kind of full she did Carson's laundry last night how's Nancy's uh, laundry basket doing. Nancy's is starting to get a little full. Maybe we'll have Hannah um, start that as well. Let's have Hannah get dressed. We'll put Hannah in which one of her outfits here? I just love this warm sweater outfit on her. And it is a little bit cool today still. Yeah, she can wear her nice sweater outfit. Okay, let's have Hannah grab Nancy's uh, laundry and add it to the washing machine. And once Nancy is done in the shower, Bom we'll have her head out Bom and go around the neighborhood. So we can see some people's houses, can show you some of the fun stuff in River Heights. All right, Nancy is ready to go. Okay, Nancy, let's travel. Where do we want to travel first? I guess we'll find out. No, just travel by yourself. We'll find out where to go based on who's at their houses. <laughs> I feel like Nancy would be the kind of person to know everyone in the town, you know? Oh, and she's wearing um, kind of a cool outfit. Well, she's got a cardigan on. That probably helps. But she's wearing sandals, too. Would she be a little cold? I don't know. Frank and Joe are at work. Best George, Ned, and Sleuth are all at home. Um, Deirdre is out. Deirdre's ghost <laughs> is out. Um... Let's see. Bert is not at home. Buck is not at home. Helen is at home. Oh, Anne, Iola, and Chet are at home. We should go to the Mortons then. Nancy needs to go introduce herself to the Mortons. Juliana Morton. Oh, she works as a detective with Nancy. But there is Chet and Iola. So we'll go uh, have Nancy introduce herself to them so that she can call them over for the party when it starts as well. And then she can ask Chet to join the group, the club, once she has enough club points. It'll be a fun little gathering, because I'm sure they'll get a bunch of club points at the gathering itself, at the weenie roast, because we will change the club so that, you know, things like roasting marshmallows and hanging out by the fire will give us club points, and then we can have that second slot open. We just need 500 club points, and I think we're at like 351 or something like that, so that should be good. We should be able to manage that just fine. Just fine. Okay, Nancy. Oh, Nancy needs to decorate for spring day, too. Everyone else is already decorated. Look at these houses. Oh, they made it look so nice. D oh, don't want that sheet. <laughs> I just want you to change your outfit, Nancy. Change outfit to, let's do something with pants. This one looks a little bit warmer. This is good for cool weather, but not like ridiculously. Perfect, okay. So this is the Morton household. Let's knock on door. I like how they decorated for spring. It's very colorful. It's very cute. I got a lot of these houses off the gallery, just cute little starter homes or cute little family homes. I think they're adorable. Come on in. Yay. Okay, Nancy, introduce yourself to Chet. This is one of the Hardy Boys' really good friends. Chet um, is a good friend of theirs, and Iola is uh, interested in Joe. Then I don't I think this name. house is really designed for Brina. two teen Sims, but Shabby oh well, they're not teen. I think they're twins. Uh -huh. Did I make them twins? Yeah. yeah. 
they're kind of twins. I don't know if that's how they are in the book, but mm -hmm. that's how they are in this one. Talk about the cloudy weather. Does she know hey, Iola? Boo, Kimba. Can we introduce mm -hmm. you to Iola? <laughs> Friendly introduction. Iola's Pando. reading a book. Oh. Pepso. <laughs> okay, telling a chicken joke. <laughs> I could see Chet getting along with the Hardy Boys quite well. Get to know him a little bit. Nancy is getting stuck in conversations just like Frank. Uh-huh. Just like Frank. She's like, uh-huh, yep, funny joke, Chet. Cool, cool. <laughs> hmm. Why do they get so stuck? Oh. Can we compliment uh, his outfit? He does have kind of a nice outfit. Was she just waiting for Iola to put down her book? Sure. Oh, that's why. Okay. Hello. I'm Nancy Drew. I solve mysteries. I work with your mom at the uh, detective agency. Uh -huh. Okay, awkward conversation. They're all just standing there staring at each other. Did we, in did we introduce ourselves to Iola? Nancy, why is this so difficult? Seriously. Everyone is stuck. Okay. Oh my goodness. This game, why is it getting so stuck? I don't even have mods in my game at all. Ah, so, so. Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. What took so long? Why was that so hard? Uh -huh. <laughs> Waffa tub for Bose. Okay, Two. now they're chatting a little bit more. Okay, that's good. So Nancy at least knows them now. That's the good. We want that. They're oh. acquaintances of hers, so she can now invite them Spinchy to parties. Oh. Iola and Chet, very, very good. Okay, oh my gosh, it's already oh. almost time for our party. Uh-huh. Okay, let's well, travel again robot? somewhere, Nancy. We're just, we're not gonna like chat too much at these places. We're just going to um, go travel to some places, meet some people, so we can invite them to our weenie roast. I would call it a bonfire, personally. That's what I would um, entitle the invitation. Callie is out, so Nancy can't meet Callie. Buck is out somewhere. Helen is still at home. Can we figure out where Buck is? Does it say where he is? What is he wearing at Rippling Flats in Newcrest? Isn't that our house? Isn't that where our house is? <laughs> um, okay, where is Bert? Where are you, Bert? At Brindleton Hospital. Oh, Maisie must have had to go to the doctor, their little doggy. Interesting, Deirdre, where are you? Your dad is at home. Your mom is probably at work. Oh, Deirdre's at the bowling alley. Okay, interesting. Maybe let's just have um, Nancy go home and start getting ready for the party. Because I think she she met at least Chet and Iola, so she can at least invite them over to the party as well. So that's good. We're already almost at 5 o'clock, though, so we need to get this party started. They can hang out in the gazebo. They can hang out by the fire. I think it'll be great. I wonder if the fire still goes um, or like stays lit, even if there's like a drizzle of rain. Because if you have been camping and you've had a fire, then you probably know that even in a drizzle, it's still usually okay. It still usually has enough power. The trick is getting the fire started. Because if it's been raining, then the, um, the wood that you need to start the fire is probably a little bit... Uh, moist, and that makes it tricky to get everything started. Okay, Nancy, what should we do to get started for this party? Um, I don't know. We could have Hannah start grilling some stuff up just so it's ready for everyone when they get here. What do we want to grill, Hannah? We can maybe grill a couple things. Maybe we should just do uh, burgers and hot dogs. Let's, okay, yeah, Hannah, go ahead and grill some hamburgers for everyone. Oh, we should have music outside. Yes, we need music. Okay, Nancy, you get a stereo to put outside. Let's see, what is it under? Electronics. Music, where should, should we put it over by the um, bonfire, probably? And just set it on the ground. <laughs> a boom box, which, which one do we wanna do? I feel like I wanna do the bigger one. Yeah, let's just, we'll put this by the um, boom box. Nancy, you can go over, turn on the music. Maybe like some backyard music, since that's very perfect for a bonfire. Although I think the backyard music might be country, and I really don't like country music. What is it? Let's, let's listen to the backyard music. We want the volume high. 
Bruno, that's good. What a day of work. Carson is back home and has earned 1,160. Good job, Carson. How are you feeling? What do you need to do to recuperate after your long day of work? You just need to eat. Um, well, you could wait for Hannah to finish. Oh, Hannah learned the recipe for chicken stir fry and chipino. Chiopino? Not sure how you say that. She can also give cooking tips to other Sims. Awesome. Okay, Hannah finished the burgers already. That is great. Why don't we put them on, can we put them on the table there? What is she thinking? I don't think Hannah's quite sure where she wants to put them either. Nancy, are you having another cookie? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can put these on the table. I feel like we can. Yeah, those fit there. And if somebody can't sit there, well then that's fine. Okay, and now Hannah makes some hot dogs. Grill, not tofu dogs, hot dogs. There we go. So we'll have a little bit of everything for everyone. Nancy, why don't you run to the restroom quick since the guests are going to start arriving soon. And then why don't we have her invite over Chet and Iola since they weren't on the initial guest invite. You guys were requesting... Um, that Chet be involved a little bit more so the Hardy Boys have some of their friends as well because I have a lot of Nancy's friends in here but I also want to have um, their friends too. Carson, are you just standing outside? He's not sure what to do. <laughs> Maybe he's nervous about this big party. There's gonna be so many people, Nancy. Oh, I guess it is kind of country. Can we change the station? Sorry to anyone who does like country, but it's just really not a fave of mine. What about singer-songwriter? That's a little, like, laid back, but not quite as... Okay, Hannah finished the hot dogs. Awesome. Let's go put those out at the table. There we go. Beautiful. I think we are ready for this party. Can we have Nancy go light the fire? Ooh, Weenie Roast is about to begin. Are you ready to start? Let's start, yes. Okay, Nancy, go light the fire. And other people can roast their own hot dogs too. And let's um, change the club activities. They can continue to be friendly and funny with everyone, but let's have them food and drink, um, eat. We don't want them to grill, I just want them to eat. <laughs> and let's have them, let's see, fun and games. What's like, is there an outdoor one? Yeah, here we go. Fall activities, fish, hang out, hang out by fire. Yes, absolutely. And what else do we wanna do? Hang out by fire, is there like a roast marshmallows one? Playing fountains, tend garden, social, kid activities, home activities. No, none of those. I could have sworn that roast marshmallows was an activity, but maybe I'm wrong. Hobbies? Guess not. Okay, well, hang out by the fire counts as that, I would say. And then maybe, hmm, be friendly, be funny. That's good. We'll just we'll do that for now and start a gathering. The River Heights friends oh. has started gathering. Yes. Good job, Nancy. Why don't we add a log um, to get the fire going a little bit more? It's not raining, so that's good. It's just a little bit cloudy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's have Nancy call everyone to the meal. Can we do that? Um, grab a serving together. Yeah, have everyone grab a serving together because I want people to gather in the backyard here. Oh, Togo's sleeping outside. Oh my gosh. Oh, that fire is raging. Joe, don't walk through the fire. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hi Joe. You're not smiling. Why are you just kind of staring there? Okay, now he's good. He just was trying to figure out where he wanted to sit. There's George. Hi, George. Welcome. Hi, Bess. I need to change Bess's main outfit so she's not always in this activewear outfit because I feel like most of the time this isn't Bess's go-to outfit. Are she and Joe gonna chat while they eat burgers together? Oh, there's Dave. There's the guy that Bess has a crush on, Dave Evans. He's looking pretty good. I like his style and I feel like Bess probably does too. Like he's definitely a stylish sim. Oh, why are you eating inside? You should eat outside by the fire. Oh, Hannah, what are you cooking? 
He's probably making something delicious. Add logs to the campfire. Dave did that. Cook a meal on the grill. We already did that. Tell a group story to guests. Can we, like, hang out by the fire together? Hang out together. Can we do that while we eat? I'm guessing. Oh. New beam. Shorg. Can you not while you're eating? Why can't you hang out by the fire together? Well, these guys are having fun. Oh, there's Helen! Helen and Bess and Joe hanging out together. Looking amazing. Oh, that looks so fun. Oh, Ned is here! Yay! Nancy, you need to say hi to Ned. He's gonna go hang out by the fire. Love it. Love it. Okay, Nancy, you're not hungry anymore. Why don't you just, um, you can go sit together. Tell the whole group to sit together. And then let's invite over Chet and Iola. Invite to hang out at current lot. Iola and Chet. We'll invite the Mortons over. <gasps> Frank is mad. Frank, why are you so mad? Look at him stomping around. <gasps> Frank, did you have a bad day at work? Did a culprit get away? I bet a culprit got away and he's really mad about it. That's too bad. Too bad. Oh, and he and Ned are gonna sit by the fire together. That's a good idea. Okay, Nancy, now that you've invited them over, go sit together at the fire. Do it, Nancy. Do it. We need to have fun by the fire. Look at these two guys. Ooh. Frank, you're flaming hot. Yes, you are. Look at this. Oh, yeah. A hot man, Frank Hardy. Good. Chet is busy right now. Oh, that's too bad. Nancy, come sit. She's like refusing to sit at the fire, but I don't know why. Can we not sit on these big ones? Apparently not. Okay. Let me just get rid of these and go with the smaller ones, I suppose. Let's get some more of these, more of the stumpy chairs. I'll leave a couple spots open so that you can like get into the circle. Okay, there. Try now, Nancy. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit by Ned, actually. Oh, they look like they're having fun together. Dave grabbed a cookie. Everyone wants Hannah's peanut butter cookies. Togo's outside looking pretty happy. Well, this is a fun little hangout. Nancy, we better add another log to the fire. Can we add a log to this? Oh, there you go. Good job, Ned. He did it. Maybe don't add another one, Nancy, because then it'll get a little bit raging. Play violin around the campfire. Oh my goodness. Tell a group story, Nancy. Tell a ghost story about a goblin to Ned and Frank, since they're sitting here. You can tell them a story from one of your cases. Oh, look at this. Now Joe's joining. Nancy just likes hanging out with the guys, apparently. Bess and George don't like to do a lot of this stuff. There you go. Come on over, Bess. There we go. There we go. Yes, she's telling a story. She's like, there were spiders. She's totally telling a story about one of her cases. Here we go. Here's George. Iola's here, too. I bet Joe's happy about that. Bess is roasting marshmallows. That's so cute. Tell a group story to the guests. Good job, Nancy. Can we socialize with them? Say hi to George across the fire. Thanks for coming. Oh, this is so cute. Helen's hanging out by the fire, too. Iola's oh, dancing. Dag, dag. Thanks for coming. Oh, I love this. They look so happy. They're all having such a good time at the fire. <laughs> this cute little bonfire. Oh my goodness. This makes me so happy. With the cute little gazebo in the background. This is amazing. What a nice little hangout. Their music in the background. Keep socializing with guests, Nancy. Thanks, Joe, for coming. 
tell an engaging story. Oh, oh, dag dag. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Joe. Tell him a funny story. Joe likes funny stories. Can you compliment Bess on her outfit? Tell her a joke about monkeys. Tell her a joke about monkeys from Ransom of the Seven Ships. Like, hey, Bess, remember those monkeys on that island that I had to play games with in order to save you? Yeah, remember that time? That was pretty funny. <laughs> Complain about mosquitoes. Are there mosquitoes? Open umbrella. It's not raining. Thankfully, we're actually having really good weather for this bonfire. I feel like it's perfect. Can we complain about mosquitoes? Complain about mosquitoes. Apparently, we can. Okay, complain about them to Bess. I feel like Bess wouldn't like mosquitoes either. And then complain about them to Frank. I love how Frank and Ned are the ones that are like stoking the fire and keeping it going. That totally seems like something they would do. Trips. Complain about mosquitoes. Pleva. Pleva uh, I love how Helen and Dave are hanging oops. out. I hope it's a little far away. Like Zuba I feel like I wish I love a little bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Telling a funny story. Oh, joke about monkeys. Yeah. Remember that monkey with the extra toe that was really good at the game, and it was really hard to beat him. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Fun times. Can I have Hannah maybe grill something um, to fulfill this little? requirement here. Grill, is there like a dessert? Ooh, grill fruit cobbler. Yes. That sounds so good. Uh, Fibna? Carson, come Fibna? join us by the fire. Oh, yeah, here he comes in his uh, suit. Carson. He's like, hey, Nancy, just wanted to join you and your friends while I'm wearing my suit. Do you have anything a little less formal, Carson? Oh. Uh, let's change you into something a little less formal. I mean, most of the things he has are pretty formal because he's just kind of a formal guy. We could change him in just to his um, athletic Carson. Yeah, let's change him into something a little less. Oh, uh, well, I don't think we're going to get our goal, but I think we are still having a really good um, good little gathering here. I think everyone's getting along really nicely. How are our club points going? I feel like we should have more than we... I think our club points are getting frozen again. That happens sometimes. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Hannah. Eat food. Everyone already ate food. Can we roast marshmallows together? Is that something I can tell them all to do? Roast marshmallows. Does that count as food? Roast hot dogs on the campfire is the big thing, but everyone already kind of ate. I should have waited for to have them roast them at the fire instead. Toko is actually clean, and he really wants attention. Carson, can you give Toko attention? Poor thing is so um, <laughs> so bored. Give him a little brush, give him a little pet, give him a little hug, and give him a treat. Give him a hug, and then give him a treat. Give treats. There you go. Thank you, Carson. You can take care of Toho. Nancy's a little bit busy socializing with her friends, eating some marshmallows. Delicious. I wish they could make s'mores, that would be fun. What a nice little fire. Change the music down just a little bit here since they're going, gathering is almost done. Oh, that was hard to say. Iola, I should really get going now. Oh, and look who stands up right as Iola leaves. Joe, he's like, oh, Iola left. I need cookies. <laughs> <laughs> or were those bagels? What was he thinking of? Joe, where are you going? Did Hannah cook something inside that looked really good? Oh my gosh, look at all the good stuff Hannah cooked. Oh my gosh, she made bagels and fudge bars and fruit cobbler for everyone. Oh my goodness. Hannah, that looks so good. She also really needs to go to the bathroom. Why aren't you eating your own food, Hannah? She's hungry. Oh my gosh, so much good food. Oh, Weenie whoa. Roast unsuccessful. Well, you know what? I think it was a lot more successful than the uh, party goals suggested. Just because... Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oz! Oz! Nancy! Extinguish Helen! Nancy! Extinguish Helen! Oh my god! Extinguish! Yeah, yeah. I know that there's fire. Stop chatting with George and extinguish Helen. She's on fire. Oh my God. Everyone come extinguish Helen. Come extinguish Helen. Come extinguish Helen. 
Oh. Hannah, please extinguish her. Please extinguish her. Why can't I pause my game? Pause. Oh my god. Okay. Hannah, extinguish the poor girl. Thank you, because Nancy's just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Stop talking to George, Nancy. It's not important right now. What the heck? At least um, Hannah is here to try and save Helen. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, Hannah, what would we do without you? Okay, put out the stump. How did this stump catch on fire? Oh my goodness. Nigelna. Nigelna. Well, that was scary. Nancy, can you apologize to poor Helen? She got set on fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what can we say that will, like, ask what happened? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> how did you, how did you get set on fire, Helen? You poor thing. Good thing Hannah was here and kept her cool. I mean, if Hannah wasn't here, Nancy cool. sure wasn't going to save her, and neither were Frank and Joe, uh, the other I'm people gabba. that, like, would have been able to save her. Oh my gosh, Koiba? everyone just panicked. Oh, yes. That was ridiculous. Where are they all? Did they all just leave? Oh, they're all standing out at the front because there was a fire. It's just like Alibi and Ashes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Togo is out front and he's so scared. Oh, poor thing. Hannah's oh. confident because she put out the fire. It's now 1.10 a.m. and everyone's still gathering and eating food. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Me. Well, that was an interesting end to the bonfire. Helen doesn't look like she's holding too many grudges though. She must be really forgiving because she was just set on fire and yet she's like, oh, I'm happy, I'm good. Everything's fine. No worries. Oh, oh. Ah, bushy, bushy. <laughs> There's a lot to clean up, though. Maybe Carson can start cleaning up, because I don't think he's doing anything else. Yeah, Carson, why don't you clean up? Maybe um, put away the leftover burgers, put away the leftover hot dogs. Nancy, we should probably end this gathering pretty soon. I don't think Nancy's too tired, though, because she slept in pretty late. And honestly, 145 isn't that late for a bonfire. Could definitely go later. It looks a lot brighter than I feel like it actually is, though. It looks like it's uh, close to morning, even though it's not. Who knows? All right, Frank and Joe are just enjoying themselves, hanging out. Why are we not getting any club points for this, though? That's really frustrating. All right, let's end this gathering. Togo is hungry. Togo, you always have food. Oh, wait, wait. I could have sworn our club points went up when we ended the gathering, but then they went back down. What? Why? Why? Why did that happen? <laughs> That's not very nice. Oh, wait. Why does it say I can upgrade the capacity? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing it. We'll just have negative 179 points, I guess. Okay, now, now the points are registering. That was weird. It's kind of glitchy. Okay, but now we can add Chet to the club. Chet! There we go. All right, so now we have, what do we have? Four guys in the club and four girls in the club. Very nice. Ah, so love so. it. <laughs> Ned's hanging around just talking to Hannah. I love it. Out of everyone that would hang around, I could totally see it being Ned. Um, can Nancy <laughs> go over and oh, ask to swing uh, with? That would be really cute. Uh, Nancy, go ask to swing with Ned. That would be really adorable. Carson's doing a great job cleaning up. So nice of him to let Nancy throw such a huge party. Just a nice big bonfire. Hmm. Oh, look at this. They're already a happy uh -huh. little family. Bon and Gravy. Uh -huh. and Fabi. That's so oh, cute. Yes. Oh, I love it. And Fabi for Noi. Nancy, aren't you going to ask him to swing with you? Or are you just chatting with him? Whoa, sorry. Well, if you're going to keep chatting with Ned, can you go over to the romantic little gazebo? Sit and chat here. 
Go sit and Uchima. chat with Ned in the gazebo. Wafika, Dottie, Hannah's like, I'm going to leave Avenue. you two alone. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't blame you, Hannah. That was a lot of work. Hey. Oh, I love that Ned stayed after to hang out with Nancy. How cute. No. Look at this, guy. <laughs> this dish. is adorable. <laughs> Shabini. Barba. He's like telling her about bats. Yarba, tofu. Make a move, Shabibble. Nancy. Hey. Farmu Oh my gosh, look how romantic this is. Arosa Galops! <gasps> I love it. Oh, oh on, Jeannie. Nancy and Ned are gonna cuddle. Oh my gosh, they haven't had their kiss yet, guys, in this game. They haven't had a first kiss yet. Do we have that? Oh, snuggle, snuggle. Definitely snuggle. Look at them staring so dramatically Rango, into each yeah. other's eyes. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, cute. <laughs> Bra, I love that bra, Nancy's bra, doing yeah, the, like, the, <laughs> the arm thing. You would think Ned would be doing that. Flirt with him a little bit. This is so cute. I love this. Look how <sighs> in love Ned is with Nancy. He is just staring into her eyes. Hmm. Whisper sweet nothings. Oh, mm -hmm. look at them cuddle together. They are so cute. Mm -hmm. They're such a perfect couple. Where's their first kiss option? Mm -hmm. I want them to kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Blow a kiss. Ooh. <laughs> Amorous Ooh. exchange. Burrow. <gasps> first kiss. First kiss. Do it, Nancy. This is such a perfect place for a kiss. Look at it. We're in the gazebo. You had a great time with your friends. Oh. A wonderful bonfire. <laughs> You're underneath fun. the stars. Ooh. This cute little glimmer string. Oh, oh, Ned is swooning. <gasps> Pause. Oh my gosh, is Carson watching? <gasps> I need a good view of this. Carson! <laughs> Don't interrupt their first kiss. Oh, they loved it. Carson, that's so awkward. Why are you eating a bagel in the gazebo while Nancy is having her romantic time? Oh my goodness. That's so cute. <gasps> Already, uh -huh. Nancy. Bro, Breast cheek. Oh, oh, what? what are you doing? Why are you doing push-ups? Oh, She's like, yes, yeah, I'm boy. so energized <laughs> from my first kiss that I now need to do push-ups. Nibs. <laughs> Why would... The car. <gasps> Ned was just like, oh, Carson, no. Why are you here? <laughs> I love it. It's so funny when um, the women do uh, the no romantic miffle. interactions <laughs> because I think it's meant for the, oh, ask to be boyfriend. Yes, uh, you are absolutely going to be official. Shabby bully galan. Hmm. Are we asking him? Trofa. Because that would be a Bahushin great way to end this episode. Mm. Ask Shrewu. to be boyfriend <laughs> right before spring <laughs> day. <laughs> yes, please. Do we? <laughs> for Roby, oh, doing an physique. inside joke. Nancy, I oh, wanted you to no, ask him to be your boyfriend. <laughs> Listen to me. Is she nervous? Oh, Yumba. I feel like Nancy is nervous about kind of oh. committing to Ned. I mean, she loves Ned, and they're a great couple, but I think just because she knows how dangerous her life is and how Boy. crazy things yes. have been for her. <laughs> so there we go. She did it. Now they're boyfriend and girlfriend, and they're official, and it's so cute. Did Carson watch the whole thing, which is super weird. Thanks, Carson. Oh, Ned just became the boyfriend of Nancy. Oh, and he's running away. He's like, I need to get a fudge bar. It's just like Joe when Iola left. He's like, I need to get a bagel. <laughs> they just panic. All right, let's have Nancy um, finally go to bed. It's already five in the morning. She's been up all night. What a party. What a good time. Anyway, fellow detectives, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was a really fun one to film. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.